Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Buick Verano. And this one is uh, silver in color, as you can see. And it has the uh, aluminum wheels, 17 inch aluminum wheels. See what it looks like here. I've got a tree in my way, so I'm going to go around it. See what this vehicle looks like. It's got that classy Buick grill here in the front, and it does have the projector headlights that are powered by halogen bulbs. Take a look at the side here. Now this is a fairly small sedan, a little bit smaller than some of the other ones, um, but uh, you know it's a it's a decent size. So there's the back. Okay, so one of the features this vehicle has is the remote start. So here's the key right here. So you can see that has different buttons on it. One of them is this little round thing right there. Um, let's see if I can get that in place right there. So you have to make sure this locked. So make sure it's locked and um, immediately push and hold the remote start button. Then it starts up. And then you can unlock it pushing this button here so now that it's unlocked let's go ahead and check out the passenger side and here's the inside of the passenger door it has like a two-tone like a gray and a black interior with some wood grain uh, section right here got the manual adjustments on the seats they are uh, the leather seats with the cloth um, in the center there for kind of gives a little bit of grippiness plenty of leg room here in the front there's the glove compartment which it does have a little shelf there on the inside let's take a look at the back the back seat now that front seat uh, on the driver's side is all the way back to give you an idea that it's a little bit limited on the leg room here in the back um, but that's only if the front seat's all the way back which uh, that requires you to be pretty tall so um, you know typically it would be more like this which is not so bad now this folds down here so you got some cup holders and then the seats fold down like so, in case you need some more cargo space if you're picking up something from the store or whatever and you have uh, less passengers and more, you need some more cargo space. Make sure that's snapped in place there. There's the, in, the inside of the rear door. There's a little bit in a smaller door there. So this is a smaller vehicle so you can have a little bit of uh, the size is kind of taken out from the a little bit of everywhere but uh, the back seat is going to be slightly smaller than uh, some other vehicles. So there's the gas cap, and you can unscrew that. And it has this little string here that lays right here. Um, it goes through there, and, it, and that way the cap hangs down and doesn't go on your paint. the back of the vehicle and you do have the uh, backup camera there so that way you don't you can see what's behind you when you're backing up so let me go ahead and there's another button here on the key uh, and that is the back the uh, the trunk so I'm gonna push and hold that and opens up you see it goes about halfway up you just walk up to it and lift it up just slightly with one finger and it goes right up see it has a pretty good sized trunk back here 
Now these mats are highly recommended. These are the, the rubber, uh, uh, I call slush mats. Um, the, you know, basically it's a really high quality uh, floor mat for vehicles and I recommend on every vehicle to have these because it makes it uh, the vehicle it's so much easier to clean and also it protects the carpet and um, so that way you don't get stains it'll contain spills um, it's very durable so you know it just lasts forever and then of course you've got the, the regular uh, carpet floor mats in there as well and there is a spare tire under here under this uh, little thing here I'm lifted up so you can see that that's that you got these little grocery bag hangers here on the side which is pretty convenient you go into the grocery store and you you know you can hang some bags there so they don't roll around in the trunk take a look here now here's the driver's door it's pretty much a mirror of the other side except for it has a few more buttons and you've got that pocket there uh, you got your power window buttons here and uh, power door locks there and then your side mirror controls are right here this little joystick so to make sure it's turned to the right direction and then you can um, you know you can adjust it by moving it around like so you got the manual adjustments on the front on the, the driver's seat as well you do have automatic headlights. There's your dimmer switch for your interior lighting. There's a little change pocket storage thing there. All right. Now, since I use the remote start, I still have to. Uh, let me switch hands here. I still have to use the key, uh, even though the vehicle's running. You notice everything's turned off right now so um, in order to go ahead and use the vehicle I use a switch blade here it flips out pushing that button and I still have to put it in um, and turn the vehicle on to the on position so now everything kind of turns on it's like a startup screen there All right, so this vehicle is in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. All right, I'm talking about this little button here on the uh, on the rearview mirror. Let's see if it'll focus. But anyway, we'll do that later, maybe. But uh, so here's the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel with black. It's got the little bumps here for grip. And um, on the left side, you've got your cruise control, which you can turn on or off there. And you'll see the little little indicator there on the that it's on. And you can uh, turn it off there. You can set it with this button here, and then you can accelerate and deaccelerate using that little toggle switch there. It's got the nice Buick badge there on the steering wheel, which is pretty cool looking. Now on the right, we have a, a volume button and uh, for your radio so I can turn the volume up it's on like AM or something but um, anyway there, there's the volume button and um, and you can change through the uh, your presets uh, using this little scroll button here now these buttons here this is a voice recognition uh, button right here it also uh, doubles as your phone button so like say you push that and you can say commands like tune to a certain station. You can also say to call a certain person that happens to be in your phone book. Uh, you can also receive calls by pushing that button. So if somebody's calling you, uh, the radio will kind of dim out a little bit and you'll hear ringing through, through the speakers. You push that button and you just start talking. You say hello and you talk to the person. And the way the Bluetooth systems work now, uh, they're pretty um, clear. So the person you're talking to may not even realize that you're driving. It's pretty neat. So to hang up the phone, you can just push that button. Uh, you can also push that button to mute the uh, audio. So here's the gauges. Pretty interesting design on these gauges. I was kind of surprised. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, 
they kind of look, let's see if I can zoom in there. They kind of remind me of a classy watch. You notice there's, you know, you've got the little, uh, little tick marks there and then the numbers around the outside on the bevel uh, just kind of reminded me of a like a watch on these gauges it's kind of neat looking and you notice it skips it goes to 0 to 20 but then you see that little 10 there on the uh, in between it's um, it's pretty neat then you got your gauges for your gas and your temperature now on the gas has a little triangle aiming to the right right there to the right of that little pump it has a triangle it's actually an arrow that's aiming to the right showing you that your uh, your fuel door is on your right side of the vehicle on the passenger side and there's this screen right here it shows your miles uh, the W stands for west meaning that the vehicle is facing west um, and it is a digital uh, representation of the speed now you can adjust zoom out right here this turn signal is for your turn signals, uh, but it also has a. This is part of a menu system, so I'm going to push menu, and then I'm going to scroll down so you can kind of see the different information that you can get uh, in this menu system. It's not stuff that you have to check all the time, but it is there in case you need to look at it. All right, so pushing menu goes back like so. So that's how you do that. And that's a separate system from the touch screen over here. Um, so just keep that in mind. It is a separate system and a separate controls. So over here, we've got the touch screen. And the touch screen also has the ability to use this knob to kind of scroll through the touch screen and, and you know, to, to use it without actually reaching over touching the screen. So, because uh, the screen is a little bit further up. And, um, and kind of recessed a little bit. So, I mean, you can, you know, you can push the buttons on it and it'll work just fine. Um, so, but you can also scroll through using this knob here and choose a specific thing. And um, you can also go next. You see the different, uh, you know, USB auxiliary, Bluetooth. Um, you can also get weather, fuel prices. go to menu and um, you also have buttons down here as well that correspond to it so like to say the home button there I uh, will take you back to the main screen there um, but it does have satellite radio it's got Bluetooth um, you know the blue, uh, Pandora and Stitcher will be able to play through your your cell phone once you pair your phone it also has a CD player which you can play that too so it's a uh, it's pretty fairly simple um, touchscreen radio system there's presets right here you've got a volume button here as well as on the steering wheel and uh, it changes you the stations here home source is like AM FM uh, satellite radio that's what source means and this is player pause um, this is basically your phone button just like you, you found on the steering wheel back button is to go back out of a certain screen on the touchscreen um, you can adjust the tone, I guess, for the audio. You can configure uh, different things, push configure the language, the time and date, especially your settings. Um, info will give you the information on that you might want, and uh, goes through the elected like OnStar system. Clock, you can uh, adjust your clock that way. Eject your your CD, which there's not one in there. So down here is your climate control, and um, so right now I've got the air conditioning on. It's recirculating. The fan speed is right around there, about a quarter. Um, my temperature is as low as it can go, and it does have a dual zone um, to where you can adjust the driver and passenger separately. And then you've got your defrosters front and back. There's a storage pocket there. And uh, pretty good size, I guess you can put your phone in or whatever there. You also have this power supply there. All right, so let's check out the shifter. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse, and so that way we can check out this backup camera. And you'll notice it has some lines there. And as I turn the steering wheel, um, they also move. 
so it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle while you're backing up. Um, it does have electric power steering, so it's very easy to turn the steering wheel. But um, but yeah, it has a, a wide-angle lens back there, so it distorts the image behind you. So it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle, also an estimated size of the vehicle as you're backing up. Um, not 100% accurate, but it gives you some uh, level of uh, judgment there. This button here is your traction control button to turn it off when you start the vehicles automatically on. Uh, the only time you'd want to do that is if you get stuck in the snow or mud or whatever and you need to rock the vehicle or spin tires, that kind of thing. Um, you can turn off the passenger air side bag if you wanted to. Your four-way flashes are there and uh, you open up your trunk there. Another feature about the um, shifter here is that you can put it down and drive like so and just drive normal automatic um, you know automatic transmission mode go like that and it turns into a kind of like a manual transmission to where you can bump through the gears so you can you know go first second and this of course is only going to go so far um, so like right now it's showing me uh, where it says manual one I can bump it up to two try to bump it again it starts flashing it's letting me know that I'm out of a uh, certain out of the range of um, that the vehicle is capable of it you don't want to go too far out because it'll you know stall the engine or something like that so it's going to keep you within a reasonable uh, gear ratio to in order for the vehicle to function properly and at any time you can just go like that and it goes back in automatic mode all right so right here is the parking brake lifted up and that cinches down the electric parking brake and then push it down to release it you can feel it in the pedal and also sometimes you can hear a little bit of noise in the back when it's turning on and off there's a little place to put a cell phone or just some you know quick access pocket there really big cup holders here like massive big gulp size and uh, it does have little bumps on the side to help with um, the smaller cups but I was surprised these are uh, so big and I like the way they have it a uh, open in the middle so that way you can put your cell phone or other things in there just besides just cups and this is armrest but it also lifts up and in there you've got some more you know more storage area it, but you also have a USB and an auxiliary input so you can plug in stuff to play through the uh, the sound system All right, and on the rearview mirror, you can see it's got the the uh, the OnStar button, uh, the emergency button there as well, plus an assistance button right here. Up here, we've got some lights, and these buttons right here turn on those individually. Um, you can turn on all the interior lights with this button right here. If you put it in the center, kind of flush with the rest of them, that's going to only turn the lights on when the vehicle doors are open, and um, and so this one will completely turn them off. So that's how that works. And the visor has a mirror with lights in it. And the same thing on the other side. Let's take a look back here. Alrighty, so let's take a look underneath the hood. See if we can see some engine or just plastic.
2015 Buick Verona at uh, Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And um, so anyways, I appreciate you watching. And if there's uh, any way you can uh, help support my channel, I'm trying to increase the frequency and quality of my videos as much as possible. So if you can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you can uh, you share my videos, like and subscribe, that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you to Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to check out this awesome car. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.